kind of really easy from that point on. So yeah. It was very annoying to fight him. I hope to not do it again anytime soon. And don't you love free one-ups? Anyway, um, the fact that he is in fact a Kirby, like our pink friend here, is actually shown in Smash Brothers as one of Kirby's skins is Meta Knight without his mask. Which is cool. So technically there are five Kirby's that appear in the game. The... Actually no, wait, six. Actually, no, a lot more beats Kirby and Ride out a bunch. Well, let's just say that there's one more Kirby at this point in time. But my question is, how does Midnight have hands? Kirby could use some hands, definitely. You know, like... Still Kirby, at least he got your hands. Kirby has nubs. Anyway, moving on, this part is just really tedious unless you have the fireball copy ability, but I don't. And I'm just gonna do what all Kirby's do and fly over every obstacle because I do not want to deal with this. Technically, he is faster on land, so I will be doing that when I can, but... Okay, fine, take away my power-up at the very end of the stage. Not like I needed it. Dang, three, that's really bad. <clears throat> so, I believe that this is our boss rush stage. And this is pretty much just the Poppy Bros fight from Dreamland 1, so that's actually pretty neat. Um, actually later in this level there are, or not are, but there is a single level that is pretty much copy and paste of Dreamland. Um, not the entire game, but a copy and paste of Green Greens from Dreamland. Um, so yes, this is our boss rush, boss rush stage, It's pretty good. Um, the idea here is just to use the power-ups you have to, um, kill things, um, kind of, yeah, definitely keep the mic. This did give me a little bit of trouble in the remake. Not because anyone's specifically super hard, but just, you know, it's a bunch of bosses. Um, that lion really throws me for a loop. Oh yeah, and the elephant slash beetle. It's gonna be so annoying. I don't know why they switched it. It's, some, it's a really weird switch, but whatever. <clears throat> I gotta be really careful, because I think you start the entire stage again. It's not preferable. So he should throw a rock and then- What? You are- Just don't be a contrarian. Throw a rock. Yes. And then you roll. And then you throw a rock again. Nope. Wanna be a contrarian again. Okay, so I guess two rolls and then a rock. That's how we're gonna work it now. So he will give us our throw ability. It's gonna be pretty good for this. Unless I do that, like a freaking idiot. Oh, 
Oh, you can hit more than one thing in here. That's actually really good. No. Actually. Whoops. I was gonna grab throw again because throw's really good, but... Whoops. Well, I guess I'm fighting this guy legit. Thing is, both are... Crap. Well, I guess it's one guy I'm fighting legit, but whatever. This guy's really annoying because I don't know his, his attacks and- Oh, that's what they are! You fly up to the ceiling, he jumps, fails, he falls on his face, and then you can do that. Okay, that's how this boss is gonna work. Actually, now this boss is really just easy. Well, go there goes that challenge. And now we've got Fireball. Let's break this tower down. And now we ride the Whoopsar to victory. And also, breaking down the tower isn't really. Sorry, I was just doing that for effect. And that is our level. Not level, um, area. This game is kind of weird. Um, decisions for that sort of thing. So now on to number three. These are sleeping enemies, which you do not want to do because all that does is take away Kirby's ability and make him fall asleep, so don't even bother. It's kind of like a joke power-up, I guess. Boy, this oh crap, no, 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 I want to keep that. Jeez. Okay, at least I kept it. Um, what is this? Jeez, they are trying to make me lose. Um, I assume that laser would be the best thing ever for this. You know what would be awesome for this? Not dying, actually. Now that I think of it. Hopefully I don't get hit at all. Anymore. Okay, maximum tomato and awesome. Whatever. I'll take that hit. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be, like, some deep storyline now that we've broken his mask and now that we know that he is Kirby like ourselves. But, they never really did anything with it. That'd be interesting in, uh, Air Ride, because you can play as him at night and he counts as in his, his own bike. Um, but, that'd be interesting if, because... In A-Ride, the bikes all have their own damage and stuff, so King Dedede can only use the, like, unicycle, motorcycle thing, and Midnight can only use his wings. But that'd be interesting if Midnight's wings broke if, uh, you would turn into a normal Kirby. That'd be really interesting. I'm talking about, of course, in a free ride mode, which is, or city trial, that's what I did mostly. I didn't really do any of the real stuff, I guess. I'm not sure if you can even play as a DDD or Meta Knight in those. Why would I do that? No. Sword! Back to basics. Oh, this room can be very annoying. See, this is probably one of the rooms where the ball is actually pretty fun. Maybe.
hoping you just keep on mashing A. I think you hold A. Whatever. Um, so that's your showcase of the ball power-up. Okay, so I think this is the gimmick of the entire level, just random enemy rooms. Kirby gets a nipple in this Oh yes, finally, Fireball has returned home. If I die, I'm gonna get mad. Nope, at least I didn't die in this room. Can't say anything for the other rooms that I have not done yet. Fireball is so useful for this room. But not for Gordos, because when you come out, you're still vulnerable to those. Those to Wells. Also, I don't think any power up besides for. Um. Fireball is really that good for this room specifically. Um, fire is pretty decent because you can just hit and run. But that is the end of our level. And we nearly missed the thing. Well, no, we nearly got it. We barely missed. So, with, <clears throat> with our new power up, we're heading on to. What? I was not touching any surface. <coughs> Excuse me again, it's late. I have water on standby. Okay, game, you wanna be like that. But how is this working? It's not supposed to be touching me. Like, it never is supposed to, like, make you not supposed to hit you unless, uh, you're on the ground, but I was clearly flying in the air, but whatever, you know? And I'm probably gonna die to this guy. It's not that good. Oh, never mind. Oh my god, and now I am a wheel. What the heck? Can I actually use the thing? Probably not the best idea. So, yeah. I imagined that would happen, but whatever. Oh, that is so cheap. You don't even know. Okay, now I guess I gotta do a no- death run. Okay, so these are gonna either knock you up or knock you down. Either way- Oh, you freaking piece of crap! Well, welp, there goes my super good run. But whatever. Um, I will use the power of crash to destroy these bombs. Seriously, how is that hitting me? It's not supposed to. It's bothering me. I'm not- I'm tired, I'm not thinking that well, my gameplay's not that good. And honestly, you have to say that some of these things are cheap. As possibly all hell. Okay, that's cheap.
Don't you freaking knock me off, you piece of crap. What? How much damage was I taking? Damn it! Jeez! Calm the hell down, Kirby. Jeez. I'm dying so much. It's because I can't attack this thing. Okay, thank you. What? I uh, know I wasn't using Fireball, game. When did it take Fireball away from me? I'm not, uh... This is not my best run, I'm sorry. And me complaining really is not helping, but... K Kirby, stop it! See, it, it's not letting me exhale in time to attack that thing. That's what I'm t talking about, about how, um, this game's animations take way too long to even start up. I can't play this. Okay, I'm gonna keep a very close eye on whether or not I have my freaking fireball. Yeah, see, there I had it the entire time, but it just did not feel like doing crap. Whatever. You know, screw you, laser. Jeez. No one even likes you. I don't need this. I can just go past. Go on through. Whatever. Um. Oh, man, this. This was, like, really a stress reliever kind of game at first, but I'm having more issues with this than in Sonic. Jeez. So, this is our throwback level of the game. If you remember, this is the first level of Kirby's Dreamland for the Game Boy that I just uploaded and was one part. Except Kirby's all like pretty and pink now. So this is like a really neat throwback. Especially here, I mean it was really nice on the Game Boy Advance, but like you can really see just it's kind of just a console version of the first level now. I mean, I didn't really think much of it in the Game Boy Advance version, but this is really cool now. Jeez. I think it's over, sadly. All good things must come to an end. But if they didn't, then they wouldn't be nearly as good, because we'd have them constantly and then that becomes standard. No one wants that to happen. We all want to praise good things. Um, yeah, this is actually still part of the... I want to make sure that bomb coconut thing doesn't kill you there. So that would be very bad. Kirby's Adventure is probably the hardest, not the hardest, but probably one of the hardest. Would I be wrong in saying that? Maybe it's just me trying to make an excuse for my poor playing skills in this run, but I do think that's decently difficult. I mean, I've died in Nightmare in Dreamland, but not as much as here. I don't know. I think sometimes age just gives a game, um, difficulty. Like, the original Mario, I mean, it's hard because you can't get a game over or else you're gonna be starting the entire thing over. That's the only reason that game is hard. And our little moon thing here is still here and in the form of a button room. That gives us a warp star looking room, which is pretty good. And instead of fighting Krakow, we get to finish the level. 
which is pretty good. So that was a really nice throwback, and now to the final boss of the game. So this is the Fountain of Dreams, and this is DDD. We're taking him down for breaking the Star Rod apart. So we are not having- actually, I think this might be the same exact fight from Dreamland 1. So I guess the throwbacks do not end there. Yeah, it's the same moveset and everything. Well, no, he can fly now. God, he's learned our tricks. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again, jeez. Getting late at night, it doesn't really matter how much water you drink gonna end up with a dry throat. Oh shoot. Dang, he is mad at us. He does not want us correcting what he is doing wrong. That's more of a him problem, not an us problem. Graphically, this game is really nice. I can't believe I haven't been this game before. The graphics are nice. I keep saying it seems like a bootleg version of the Game Boy Advance version, but... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> well, what I was about to say is, I keep saying that it's it seems like a bootleg version, but... In all honesty, it's pretty good. Um, I like the graphics. It's not that I hate the graphics, I was just making fun of it. Oh crap, no, I want to turn around. Game. Yep, and it is very fast with the takeaway time for those stars, just like in the original game. So he can bounce around about three times on his belly, I've noticed, so I've gotta be careful of that. And just slightly fly over him when he does his- when he gets to the end of the screen. So one, two, three, and- yep, only three times. And if he gets too close, he'll exhale, he'll trip, I don't even know what he's hoping to accomplish. Dang, jeez, Deity is on a mission. What kind of attack was that? I had not seen- oh crap, I hate that. But anyway, just like in the previous game, DDD is going to be packing a lot of health being the final boss, but I mean, that's all well and good. Hopefully I can beat him this time so I don't need to cut out, because I've cut out a lot of this playthrough. Crap, jeez, I need to be careful. Only stop when he is holding his hammer because that's the only time it'll attack you. If he's just running towards you, he's going to try to inhale you. This should be a pretty easy fight, I'm just messing up, that's the only reason I'm getting my health taken out, but again, that's what always happens, it seems. Sometimes he'll try to tackle you and trip, but whatever. He should only take out, or he should only need one more hit. I think. One or two, maybe. Nope, only one. So now, let's go finish up our job. Whoops, sorry, um, there was a scene where... Okay, I'm sorry, I skipped that. Um, there was a scene where DDD was grabbing onto Kirby's ankle. Kirby's on a mission. When he put it back, this thing came out of the Fountains of Dreams. Fountain of Dreams. Sorry that I botched that up, but whatever. What can you do? 
But this is actually a pretty hard boss. This is a nightmare, and I screw up on this a lot. So I don't expect to not be cutting a lot of this out. That was just a really long series of negatives. I'm expecting to cut out this this part a lot. Because <clears throat> it's not this exact part, spot. If you're good at the um, one air sequence in Dreamland 1, this should be pretty um, easy. But the issue is it's next form. And yes, he does have a next form. You've probably seen it in a Super Smash Brothers game. Um, it's pretty much a cape with a head, and it seems I'm actually gonna die here, too. Which really stinks. See, that's an issue right there. I can't tell if they're gonna intersect or if they're just gonna be straight. So I'll probably end up dying here a few times, at least. Um, with the Star Rod, I Yeah, you can just hold down the button. Um, it's weird because the screen is pretty wide, and so you've got to pay attention to where he is and where his star things are. Okay, I'm doing a piss poor job at dodging these. Okay, actually, if you spam the button, you actually do fire faster. So that's something to consider when fighting this guy. I'm gonna stay at the bottom. And I end up getting hit anyway. It's not good. I don't really think you should get hit by those waves, though. Because, um, all you really need to do is keep moving up and down. And as you can see, we're actually getting closer and closer to the ground. And he flees, so we grab on this warp star that just conveniently spawns, and we chase. Oh, Kirby is a little witch on the bottom with the star of Rod. So now, Nightmare's true form. And he gets knocked off his warp star, which is not good. It looks like Dracula in this one. Um, you don't want to hit the head, I don't think. You want to hit inside the cape. Um, this will actually trip you up because you're not moving. You can stand still and do this. It's just the background, and I think that's the hardest part of this boss fight. I mean, the boss is hard, don't get me wrong, I've screwed up multiple times, but... Um, like that, I think if you get a game over, then you've gotta do the entire boss fight again. Like, not just this, but also, um, the orb sequence. But, th this is a major issue with this, like, it's not really an issue, I'm sure that th they did this on purpose. But them trying to make this look all like fancy and moving and high speed and like high octane, just really impressive and everything, um, it really confuses the player. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who has this issue. <sighs> Damn it, I can't hit him at all. He's too high, that's the issue. Hopefully I'll hit him here. No, I will not. And I'm already down to half health. There are no heals in this boss, unfortunately. Man, this is actually really difficult. Come on. It's like sometimes they just don't want to spawn. And there we go. My last life is gone. So I'll pro probably cut out to my successful run through of this. Okay, guys, I defeated him. Um, actually, I was wrong about 
one thing. If you get a game over here, you start back at this exact phase, which I think is different in the uh, Game Boy Advance version. Anyway, that's it. Also, um, Nightmare has an extra move that he doesn't didn't do in the takes I really took. Um, basically, he will turn upside down. Also, I've realized that if you jump into him while holding the star rod, then you're good. So this is taking... This is showing, um... In the epilogue of Kirby's Adventure, which is a pretty good story, honestly. For a Kirby game, anyway. It's just really short. It's... Uh, nice, it's kind, it's child-friendly, it's good. It's storybook. <clears throat> and now everyone's re dreams will return. I don't know why Kirby still has the star rod, but whatever. Oh, maybe he's dropping it off. We did travel quite far when we were <clears throat> um, dogfighting that one orb. Oh, yep. Yeah pretty cool. Again, this game looks really good for an NES game. So that is it. Kirby waves goodbye and everyone lives happily ever after. Until the next game, of course, but whatever. So I'm gonna end my commentary here and let the credits roll.